what the atopic march is, is this general concept that when in, typically looking at infants who have atopic dermatitis or eczema, as they get older, their eczema sort of resolves and gets better, and they move on to develop asthma, allergic rhinitis, or food allergy. So the idea is that this atopic march, your allergies will move from one spot to the other. It's not like not every patient with atopic dermatitis gets asthma and food allergies, and not every patient with asthma had atopic dermatitis to begin with. But having atopic dermatitis and being sensitized to multiple things, it, it puts you at a really high increased rate. So there definitely is a risk factor for things moving on. And what's been going on in the last decade and really now beginning the focus, we originally had animal models. And people are now trying to figure out what we can do to prevent, not only prevent it, but treat it. So people have done various clinical trials, looking at better moisturizer, can you make the eggs more better? So people have tried to done it by doing better skin care. That, that is sort of mixed. People have gone, tried to have done um, more aggressive treatment of eczema. Again, that data is a little bit more mixed. The one thing that people looked at that looks the best so far is the use of allergy shots. Basically, allergy immunotherapy. So, if you treat someone for their allergies over time, they're a little bit less likely to develop other allergies. So, that may be right now the best thing we have is that prevention is if we treat people early and aggressively, that maybe that makes a difference. Sort of what we think now from a molecular side is this idea now, this atopic march, is that the beginning to run the pathway. So this was all more theoretical, but we observed, we made animal models, we know with animal models you can knock out the cytokine. IL-25, knock it out 4 and 13, you can vent, vent it. So now we actually have biologics that actually work on these pathways. So I think that's the exciting thing. So we really might have a really broad gun that's very specific that blocks this pathway to looking at those. And those trials take years, but now we actually have the tools because these drugs now are there and they exist. So I think in the next several years we'll use this biologic to say, hey, can we treat not only one thing but the entire atopic condition? It makes things much more interesting.